In my personal humble opinion, there is only one king to exist on this planet as we know it. And that one king is Brad Mondo. And you wouldn't know that I feel that way just by looking at me because what is this? Look at this mop. Oh my god, it's it's something, that's for sure. But yeah, the other day, my king, Brad Mondo, posted a video where he was trying out one of those like hot air brushes, you know? It's like a hair brush with the hair dryer built in. Boy, take a shot every time I say hair in this video. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, you'll die. Anyway, these hot airbrush things are supposed to give you like a flawless blow wave. There's just something so special about having a blow wave, isn't there? But yeah, giving yourself a good blow wave is practically impossible. In my opinion, we've done it on here before. You've seen me try it. And fucking hell. Fuck. What the fuck? No! It didn't. It didn't go so well, no. So I want to give this hot airbrush thing a crack. I just want to be able to give myself a sexy blow wave, okay? Call the cops. And you know what? The thing is, if I can do it, then I promise you, you're going to be able to do it. Because I'm bloody shithouse. I'm shithouse at this kind of thing. Dude, I have the one hairstyle. And it's because I don't know how to do anything else. Actually, I have two hairstyles. I either have it curled and just out, or I have it in a messy bun. That's it. So really, it's only up from here, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that the hot airbrush thing that everyone's using at the moment is from Revlon, but um, I got the broke bitch version and I got the Kmart one. <laughs> this bad boy cost $25 in dues. <laughs> oh my God. I actually couldn't say no. I had to get it. So here's what the Kmart one comes with. We've got the base thing. I read some reviews when I was standing in the hair aisle at Kmart trying to decide whether or not I should buy this thing and people were complaining that the base is fat but I mean there's a hair dryer in there so what do you <laughs> what do you expect you know and then we get two brush attachments on the box it says that one is 40 millimeters and one's 50 millimeters today let's use the 40 millimeter one <laughs> Okay, wait, it says to use the 50 millimeter brush for medium to long hair. I would say this is medium, so we'll swap that out. Let's use the medium, I mean the 50 millimeter one. I'm gonna go and wash my locks so that we're starting with a fresh base. I'll come back and then let's just bloody rip into it. Hello? I am back. Hair is washed and we're ready to bloody rock and roll. Now, listen, because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, I'm gonna follow the video that Brad Mondo put up the other day and I'm just gonna do exactly what he did in his video to my hair and we'll see if it t comes out looking the same. <laughs> Foreshadowing an unpredicted fail? Sis, couldn't be me. Listen up, Brad Mondo. I am but a mere sponge, ready to learn. So teach me, king. Let's go. But first, I'm going to apply product because product is super important to getting a really wonderful, beautiful blowout. If you do not use product and you blow out your hair, you're losing at life. I don't really have hair products. Are we shocked? Absolutely not. You're losing at life. I do have some hair oil, so we'll chuck a bit of that in there. <laughs> Why do I look like a worm? First section out wherever you want to part your hair. And then I'm going to do my wonderful little halo circle section. Did I get a perfect circle? Use kind of this motion, kind of flatten it out as much as possible and hold my hand on it. And then give a little bevel towards the ends and let it go. Oh babe, you are gorgeous. This thing has a few different heat settings, but I'm not here to fuck spiders. So I'm gonna turn it on the hottest one that there is. And let's just try doing exactly what Mr. Mondo said. Oh, it's really hard. <laughs> it rotates. Sad. <laughs> what has happened here? What have I done? Oh my god. I know that this is my fault. But how else are you supposed to straighten out your little cowlick bits without, like, like I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I 
look like Tina Belger again. So he, he's where we are. This isn't Brad's fault. I know that this is my fault, but still, I I thought it was gonna come out better than this. I also just realized like two seconds ago that in this tutorial, he does two different hairstyles. He does like a straightening style, which was what we did. And then after that, he does a blow wave, which was what I wanted. I wanted the blow wave. It is like pretty sleek and smooth, which is nice. I don't ever really feel like my hair is sleek or smooth. It didn't take much time to do my whole head, which is a plus, I guess. I have no doubt that after like getting used to it and using it a couple of times, it's gonna get better. I'm not giving up, I have faith, but I do feel sad. <laughs> Dude, these arrow buttons on here, they like rotate the brush in whichever direction arrow you press. And like, I would be half, you know, doing this, and accidentally press the button and then it would like, you know, which I will say was absolutely terrifying. I feel like these need to be in a better spot or maybe I just need to pay more attention. I can't be a blamer. I, I can't be a blamer. Another thing worth noting is that this thing gets fucking hot. <laughs> so it's hard to like maneuver this thing around when it's so hot. But I mean, it is a hairdryer, so I don't know what I was expecting. I'm not really doing anything today, so I'm just gonna leave my hair as it is. And I wanna see how it holds up. It's 11.15 now, so I'll check back in at the end of the day and we'll just see how it's going. Let's do that. Later that same evening. It's 9.53 p.m. and my hair is looking pretty shit house. We could see this one coming from a mile away, couldn't we? I don't know what else to say other than that I absolutely hate it. Tomorrow, I'm gonna wash my hair again and we're gonna try the second hairstyle that Brad does in his video because this is not good enough and I am not giving up on that brush. No way, Jose, not yet. The next day. Righto, day two, baby, let's do this shit. I've washed my hair, we'll chuck some of this oil in. And now let's watch the second part of this tutorial, which was the only part that I ever really wanted to try in the first place. Whatever. We're covering all bases here. The sectioning we're going to do for this one is we're going to take this mohawk section. So I've done the top section, which is just kind of this horseshoe shape up here. We're going to section this out into two and these will be our first two sections. Let's go ahead and give this some nice curl. Gonna have a mental breakdown over this today. No, be strong. You've got this. You can do this. I don't want to do it. I don't. I don't want to do it. No, come on. Be strong. You've got this. You've got this. I feel like I need a wine. God. to make it easier, and I think it made it easier. I think that's what I was doing wrong yesterday, and I guess that's why they put them there. We need to pin these up. How do you do that? Is that right? This doesn't feel right. Oh wait, so he was lifting up. Brad Mondo was lifting, why did I say his full name like that? Brad Mondo was lifting up. Let's try that. Let's give that a go. CW, want to say hi? Hi! You're so beautiful. You put up with so much. I'm gonna separate this one up here into probably three and just get it all blow dried and always lifting the sections up as high as they can go. Mate, I'm gonna lift so bloody high that I'm gonna reach Jesus. I'm coming, JC. I just realized that Brad went the other way. Fuck. Fuck. We can fix this. We can fix this. We can fix it. Nothing 
Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. You didn't see anything. My neighbour upstairs is definitely calling the cops. Um, Cindy, who from Whoville, who? <laughs> My arm really is really hurting. Oh. Right, well, I'm feeling very optimistic about this and I'm looking absolutely fabulous. Already this is way better than yesterday. I hope this works. Oh my god, cross your bloody fingers and your flaps for me, loves. Let's let this sit and just cool down for like five minutes. Let's just wait. Right, okay, it's the moment of truth. Let's bloody go. <laughs> Come on, I really tried. I really thought I had this one. Oh, this is sad. Oh, oh, I was so hopeful. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. What do I do? I burn this thing now? Because I don't probably I don't need it anymore. Well, at least now I know. You know, if I never tried, then I never would have known. But now I know. <laughs> for sure that this doesn't work for me. I guess I'll just keep wearing my hair in a messy bun. Okay, let's just do the same thing that we did yesterday. I'll check back in later. It's 9.50. I'll see you later and we'll see how it looks <laughs> at the end of the day. <laughs> Bye. Later that same evening. 9.28 p.m. And somehow I look the exact same as I did this time yesterday. I don't... I'm... I... I, I really, I really didn't think that this was gonna happen. I'm so sad. So I guess I failed. This was a flop. I took the L and now I don't know what to do. I feel empty on the inside. I'm, I'm lost for words. I don't really know what to say. Do I need a haircut? Is it cause my hair doesn't have any shape cut into it or am I just bad at doing hair? <laughs> Catch me with a bald head in my next video, because I'm over this, I've had enough, I'm done. This is sad. I'm probably gonna go and cry after this. Do you wanna come? <laughs> no, actually, you don't know me like that yet. I guess, um, don't do anything that I wouldn't do. And if you can't be good, 